Hi guys, this is Sherry. How you doing? Welcome to my channel and welcome to some crafty time. Uh, today I thought I would just kind of do something easy and crafty and have some crafty fun with this uh, binder. It's actually a three ring binder and I had picked it up at a thrift store and took out the insides which I'm using for my cookbook journals. There was some paper, a lot of papers and little kind of pockets and things so all that has been removed and I was like well what am I going to do with it now it's a pretty binder but I don't really want another I have one I'm already using a different one but it's you know the same uh, kind of general idea of a three ring binder I'm using for a personal journal in fact I have that one and I have also the Better Homes and Gardens which is also a binder so I actually have two binders that I'm using for my personal journals I but I I decided I did not want another binder. I want something different. If I need a new personal journal, I want something different, right? So I said, well, what am I going to do with this? And then I realized, well, <laughs> I have this old, this is just a plain old one, one and a half or one inch binder, notebook binder, you know, that um, I have had for many years when I uh, once upon a time organized my recipes. And these are my recipes that I've cut out and um you know save from magazines and newspapers and different things and, and recipes people have given to me recipes from my mom and just all kinds of <laughs> recipes it's stuffed full like i just opened the binder ring here and just everything kind of popped out as you can see so and it's very heavy i was when i brought it in here i was like wow i can't believe how heavy this is i have a lot in here <laughs> Look at all the little post-its here. Anyway, so that's my personal homemade cookbook. But then I realized, you know, when I was thinking about what to do with this, I was like, oh, I have this old kind of, you know, it's not very nice looking, just plain. I had to put this in here for a decoration. This <laughs> has something on the front, you know, it's had got a pocket here. So I slipped that in there. But this is kind of, uh, what's wrinkly? Something is wrinkly here. I guess the under here, the vinyl is a little wrinkly now since it's, I guess getting old I don't know and this too something looks wrinkly under here anyway so you can see it's not dirty or anything it's just uh, not really pretty so I thought well I have this pretty I have this pretty binder but um, I looked at it closely and I realized the paper and this is one reason I don't put paper on spines um, you know like this like a big spine uh, it this is cracked and then this is a professionally manufactured notebook and they put paper here and it's never been been used and it's peeling off here the paper so um, that's what I'm going to fix so I can put my you know recipes in here now I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix that this in here is paper too it's got a bubble on it on it but I think I'm going to leave it for right now and then if it ever rips or I get tired of that bubble <laughs> under there, that's from the manufacturer. That's how they made it. Not very, not very uh, well manufactured, I would say. I mean, this part is fine, but they needed to do something else here. But anyway, it's not ripped or anything, so I'm going to leave this for now and just redo this outside because I don't want a ripped, you know, I don't want it ripped. So I looked through my fabrics and I found this and uh it matches this yellow right here on the front so and this is blue and i just thought it would look really pretty over here and i like um i like a frayed edge so right now my plan is to just leave the frayed edge and um, not put any trim but you know i could always decide later that oh i i would like some trim on there you know i've done that with my other journals my other binder journals i decide later i want pockets or something let's see how this wraps around i kind of want to leave this this is pretty right here this kind of frame here so i just want to cover up the edge really so it would go something like this about like that okay so i'm going to say right about there cover up that torn part real good or this this side's not torn but it could tear it looks like it's possibly getting ready to tear especially right down here but anyway, so I'll just go over the edge like that. About, what is that? Maybe about uh, 
an inch or three quarters of an inch and then I'll wrap it around and I'm going to measure here this is how I'm going to measure <laughs> wrap it around and then uh, tear some of this off here so let me measure so about let me see how I want this there's two I don't really need to see those but um, yeah I think that would be good about right there so let me make sure, let me keep it there, make sure I didn't pull it out here. See, I did pull it around a little bit. Okay, let me do that again. About right there and right there. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay, so I've got a spot here. Let's cut this and then I'll rip it down the side. So yeah, this is something you can do if you want to redo a binder and maybe the, the, you know, the front and back is good like this but you want to cover so you can use upholstery you can use whatever fabric um, you can use um, on one of my other ones I used a tea towel which you know those are usually a little thicker so it made for a really nice covering on my spine okay let's measure the length let's see what we have these are both just straight so I can cut either one and just rip it so I don't need it hanging over the top or the bottom. So I'm going to make it even or try to. So let me just, and it doesn't have to be perfect or anything. Let's see. Let me get it where you can see. And I'm going to experiment with my glues and see which one holds. I'm going to try probably first, since I'm really just gluing fabric on paper. I could use my fabric truck, but I'm going to try my uh, art glitter glue and see if that does the trick. And if it doesn't, I'll, I'll open up my, uh, there's a little scrap there. I can use that for something later. But, um, yeah, I can I can use my Fabri-Tac if I need to. Here's a little string. I'm going to cut that off. And so all I'm going to do is just glue this down and put my recipes in here. So I'm going to start with the front. I want that to be, you know, I want that to look nice. So I'm going to start with that and then wrap around. So, what did I say? About an inch over. So let me get my fab, my um, art glitter glue. So this is kind of a little, just show you what I'm, what I'm up to and craft with me. <laughs> Idea for, you know, covering a spine, simple, um, you know. And now I'll have a pretty little recipe book instead of that old white one. That um, I just want to make sure this is working here. And it is not working yet, so let's get her flowing. <laughs> you know how art glitter glue is. It likes to be temperamental. So I hope everyone had a good day. It's Tuesday, back to work after the three-day holiday. This will be um, published tomorrow on Wednesday. But I had a good day, actually, surprisingly enough. <laughs> back to work, I was like, you know, it's a little worrisome. Um, like in my office, it's like, you know, we were gone for a day. Now we got to make up for all the lost time, right? But it wasn't like that. We just, uh, it was busy, but not uh, over, well, it was almost overly busy. But I just kept doing, all you can do is one thing at a time. Kept doing one thing after the other. And I think it all turned out good in the end. So that's by the end of the day. I didn't have to work late or anything. So that was good. Got to come home and get things done so I could do a little crafting here. I just want to make sure there's enough glue on here. That's probably part of the key and just using art glitter glue and not having to use my uh, my Fabri-Tac. It's just that Fabri-Tac's a little thicker and it could, yeah, I don't think I would show through this. This is not uh, terribly thick, but it's not terribly thin. And uh, it doesn't matter which side I put down here. I just want it to be the right amount over and I want it to be straight if possible <laughs> so pull it over before and pull it over a little bit before it starts to dry and I can't move it anymore make sure there's no wrinkles and I'm just doing a little piece at a time so I did this little top part first and then I'm going to turn and do this flat part of the spine here but doesn't that look nice already and add some color there and covers up the torn. It'll be covered up all the torn part. So let me just, um, let's see. 
So I'm going to hold this up. I know it's kind of like close to the camera. I think it's all right though. I'm just going to put glue all over this part now and get it right up to the edge here and just glue this down. Like I said, simple but necessary so that I don't have a ripped spine. See that? See those rips right there? I'm going to put a little glue in there, I think. So that doesn't mess up my mess with my fabric. We'll push that paper down and then we'll put our fabric over that. But you can use Fabri-Tac if you want. I just, um, I didn't want any lumps and I didn't want, I don't know. I was just worried about making lines and things underneath here. Of course, this is for me, so it doesn't really matter if I mess it up too much, but uh, I would like to, like, I mean, I could end up passing this down to someone if they wanted it, if they wanted my recipes, you know. Uh, so, you know, it's nice to have a pretty, pretty uh, notebook to keep your recipes in and I just found this at a thrift store never used you know I mean I'm trying to think of how much it was this was hardly anything my other one yeah that I'm trying to think of where I found that one the other one I'm talking about that I have that I use for my personal journal I think that one was like $3.99 I mean it was wrapped up in cellophane and everything never used so I had to unwrap it from cellophane. It was like brand spanking new. <laughs> but um, this did not have cellophane on it. But, uh, you know, it was never used either. Because everything was in there. And, oh, I think one thing was written on maybe. I don't know if that was this or not. I think I have plenty of glue on there. Can you see all the glue? <laughs> I think that's enough. So let's just wrap this around. I'm going to smooth it out. See how pretty? I'm gonna pull on it. Make sure it's nice and straight. And there's a is there any dip here? Not really. It's just kind of a sharp corner, pretty much. So I just want to make sure no wrinkles going around the corner. And just press that down on that corner. Press this down here. All nice and flat. See, there were a couple. My fabric's not, I didn't iron my fabric or anything. It was folded up so you can see the creases from where it was folded. But when I'm pressing it down on the glue, it's just all nice and straight. So that is good. This is just a cotton fabric, you know. It was just, I don't even know where I got this. Let me push those wrinkles down. I mean, those rips down real quick. Like I said, I wanted to. I forgot to do that. I put glue under there and then I didn't press them down. So I did that, okay. So let me, um, let me kind of wrap around the corner here. I'm just going to put a little glue on the corner, you know, the edge here. Yeah, so this is a quick little, quick little thing tonight. But I, I just thought of it this weekend when I was home. I realized, oh, because I was going to get rid of this. <laughs> I, I, don't, I didn't want to mail it, you know, to anyone. I just, it's kind of big and bulky. As far as you know trying to mail it and I was like well I don't know what to do with it and then I said oh I have that old that old white notebook don't I and I, I didn't wasn't even sure I still had it I was like hope I didn't get rid of it you know I mean, why would I get rid of my recipes it's just that I don't use it that much anymore I kind of you know after a while you kind of have your favorite recipes memorized <laughs> but I you know I didn't I was glad I still had it and um, so now I'll have a pretty notebook and maybe I'll use them more that I have a pretty notebook to look at, right? And get out and put on my counter. I mean, this is something I could leave out on my counter for a decoration even, you know? Now that it's a pretty thing, if you have one of those recipe stands or something, maybe you want to leave a pretty notebook out there. Okay, so I got it around the corner. Well, I got it around the corner real good. There's a little bit of glue right here, I see. Okay, I got glue all on the edge around the corner. I'm going to need more, but I just want to get this started to, to um, glue down here. I like to do a little bit at a time to make sure of what's happening. Okay, I'm not going to open it right now because I want it to all be glued down. I don't want to make any kind of bubbles or wrinkles here. On, if I were to open it right now, I want it nice and stretched out there. So hopefully that will all work out in the end. I'm going to open it though before before the video is over because I want to put my, if we have time, I'll go ahead and put start putting my uh, recipes in here. Not that that's anything exciting, but <laughs> then you get to see 
This is what, a two inch spine? This is probably at least two and a half inches. I'll have to measure it. And I'm going from a, like a one or one, one and a half inch spine to a two or two and a half inch spine. I don't think this is three inches, but anyway, I probably needed a bigger notebook. And so I'm putting this notebook to good use. It's not going back to Goodwill where possibly nobody would want just an empty notebook like this, or they might. I know I had another one too. I had another one. I had a third one. And I gave it to my friend at work because she likes to cook and she was talking about her recipes and her recipe whatever she has her recipes in I gave her a pretty one because she was talking about reorganizing her recipes and she was very thankful and she said she liked it so I hope she did she hasn't told me whether she actually um, there's the little metal things and it just glued right over those no problem so let's Press that down. I can see the glue under there, but I think it'll be okay after it dries. And if it if I can see glue lines, I really like I said it's mine and I don't really care. I just wanted that torn bit to be covered. There is a bit of a crease on this side. So I'm gonna put it, push it down into the crease here. See with my finger just with my fingernails. If you had a bone folder or something, you could use that or whatever credit card. But um, I think it's fine to push it into the crease with your fingernail there we go yeah yeah this side does have a little bit of a crease so okay I just want to let that dry for two seconds so let's put our pin back in our glue and I'll show you that how it looks first before we try to open it but doesn't that look a lot better um, I think it looks prettier even if it wasn't torn I think I would want if I was going to keep it I would want to decorate that in some way so I can put some trim on here I could put something here or you can if you want you could put some words here with something um, you know uh, rubber stamp uh, what else some uh, some uh, like letter stickers or something and and put trim here but uh, I like it I like it like this so that's my plan to leave it like that and it matches the yellow so do we dare open it you know art glitter glue dries really fast let me feel it it feels like it's drying okay let's see let's open we won't be let's see I guess we will be opening let's see how it does oh it's, it's fine okay <laughs> I was worried okay it's good look See, there's the creases where I pushed my fingernail in. It looks good. Okay, so let's open her up and try out try out my recipes. So this one just opens with like that. I mean, it has two little prongs here, but I opened it earlier and it didn't open so good with those, so I opened it with those just now. But um, I have all kind of recipes in here, like... Um, meatloaf and mashed potatoes and asparagus that's from my mom <laughs> I don't know where this came from right here breakfast break for breakfast that's probably from my mom too <laughs> that looks like something my mom would give me and then um I'll, okay so I don't have pockets here so none of this uh maybe that'll be what I want to do maybe I, I would thought about it beforehand I was like I don't think I want pockets but look at all this stuff I don't have I had in a pocket here so and then this this is what fell out when I, um, you know, I have everything in sheet protectors. And I have it organized by, let's see. Yes, I have it organized by category. So my first category is main dishes, of course, right? That has to be the, the uh, first category. So, yes, organized, but not in a pretty binder. This is way before I was ever paper crafting. This one has a bookmark. I mean, a post-it. I wonder what, it, what the post-it's for. And I'm not sure. It might be for chicken tortilla wraps. <laughs> not sure there's chicken cordon blue on this page too. So, yep. So yeah, these are just gonna fit right in here. And I have a lot of main dishes, don't I? Still haven't come to another category. I know I have other categories. Let me see. I'll show you. Wow. 
where are my other categories? Oh, there's one. Okay, so main dishes goes all the way. All of this is main dishes. All of this right here. I think I, my holes are not matching up though. I have to do a little section at a time. So I'll tell you what other recipes I've come across here. Awesome antipasta. <laughs> is it antipasta? Yeah, antipasta. And Mediterranean salad. I don't have a salad. I don't have a salad divide. Oh, I do. Here it is. Pasta salad. That's my next category. Pasta salad. My, I see my favorite pasta salad is right here. I typed this up on a recipe card a long time ago. Somebody gave me that recipe. And I used to make that all the time for taking to uh, um, different events, to church and people's houses and things whenever they wanted somebody to bring something. I was the pasta salad girl. <laughs> that Pasta salads aren't so popular anymore, but they were at the time. And that's the, my favorite one. Ita it's Italian. Italian pasta salad. I bet you all made it too. <laughs> made with um, the little curly Q uh, pasta. Or sometimes I made it with uh, the vegetable pasta where you have the tricolor. It made, made a pretty salad. Made pretty pasta salad. Okay, so that's the pasta salad category. Next is dessert. And... Oh, what happened to my timer? You know, my, my timer never works out hardly, and then I have to guess at what time it is. Okay, so next we're in dessert. So let's see. Here's one, the teddy bear cake. I see. I don't think I ever made that. <laughs> I put it in here, but I don't remember ever making that. That. And I know there's a bunny. If I come across the bunny, I will show it to you, but I know I made the bunny cake several times for my kids when they were little. Let me see if I see it anywhere. I do not see it yet. Here's a Jello recipe, or in Cool Whip, whatever. Chocolate marshmallow cookie pie. I don't think I ever made that either. <laughs> I like to cut them out though, you know. <laughs> Here is a uh, baby. It's cool outside. I don't know. It must be the thing on the other side. That's a recipe. I don't think that's a recipe. Um. Dipped, dipped biscotti. Biscotti. I never made that either. <laughs> Here's one I made. Oh, my friend gave me that. My mom's friend, actually. Um, no Baked Cheesecake. Now it's on No Baked Cheesecake. I think that recipe is on, uh, isn't it on Cool Whip or something? Or on Graham Crackers? On the Graham Cracker box? But at the time, I had never seen it. My mom's friend gave it to me. Because she made it. And I was like, oh, you know how it was. Back then... A few years ago, uh, before, you know, <laughs> you uh, emailed and things like that, It's we said, uh, can you give me that recipe? And they come back with a cute little recipe card with their recipe written on it. And that was so cool. And now I have some of those. Okay, so last category. We're going to see how this fits in here. Last court category, appetizers. Hmm, maybe I should rearrange. Put appetizers before <laughs> the main dishes. That would make sense, right? Okay, zucchini appetizers. Ooh, I might have to try that. I've got some zucchini my, someone gave us from their garden. And uh, yes, I definitely need to try this. This looks good. Okay, now I know what to do with my zucchini. Mini mushroom feta turnovers. So, oh, this is... Okay, that, that is it. This is all that's in my appetizers. I can't believe that. It's one of my favorite appetizers is stuffed mushrooms, but I don't have that recipe in here. I probably got that from online <laughs> or somewhere. Uh, okay, so let's see. Did I mix this? Oh, here's breads. Okay, this is what I have in my breads. This is from a, something. Like it has holes in it. Uh, so that's bread. Here's some more breads. Oh, and I have a miscellaneous. <laughs> miscellaneous divider and oh here's some of my favorite I copied this one for my uh, recipe book my recipe journals because it's so pretty it's a recipe for uh, Linda's strawberry banana jam but this is so pretty see see that strawberry jar yeah I copied that for my for my um, rosy pickled eggs that's from my mom rosy pickled eggs they're good 
And my mom makes those Super Bowl party. <laughs> and last but not least, what do we have here? The Diet Helper Calorie and Fat Gram Counter. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Okay. And what do I have here in the back pocket? So I've had this for a long time. And this is a um, Publix Movable Feast. This is very old little thing I picked up from the deli one time uh, when I was having a, something going on, a party. And there you go. All the things that Publix Deli can make and bakery for your parties. <laughs> I still have it. And oh, here's some menus. Oh, uh, ideas for dinners during the, the week. And uh, this is from a, you know what, this is like it's from a McCall's, McCall's uh, cook, cookbook, but I don't know what it's from. It's that size. And here we go. Oh, isn't this cool? I didn't know I had this in here. So there's my old book empty, except for that. I'll have to pull that out and see what it is. But um, patient testing services. Oh, this is a little premium from that company in the slider here. Eating summary guide. Beverages, um, let's see, what does it tell you? What does it tell you? Hold on. I pulled it out and I can't get it back out. I don't know if it's in here right to um, tell. Uh, well, I'll have to work on that later. Pull right here. Okay, so uh, I think it might be in backwards. Oh, I'll have to work on that later. Anyway, that's pretty cool, right? I wonder how old that is. Does it have a date? It doesn't have a date. But those are cool. I look for these kinds of things at thrift stores, right? And I redo them and put them in uh, journals. So what is in here that's so so important that I had to put it in this front cover? Entertaining from Pillsbury. Oh, this is cool. A little booklet. I could use this in my journals. <laughs> Not that I don't have enough stuff for my journal, my cookbook journals, right? So that's all. That is it. That's empty. So I, I think I might need some pockets here. So maybe I'll come back and do some pockets with you because I think I'm running out of time. Oh, now this one's heavy. <laughs> now this one's heavy. But uh, let's see how it, uh, they all fit on the notebook ring. And there we go. All nice and pretty, right? That's how it turned out. All together. And here's my other pocket recipes, so I'll have to put those somewhere. Um, either slip them into a sheet protector or make a pocket. I didn't know if I wanted to cover this up. See, this is kind of pretty here. But I think I might need a pocket, so um, I might just stop the video because I think that my time's up. But um, maybe I'll make some pockets and I'll come back and show you what I choose to make pockets out of. But I'll find some matching scrapbook paper like cardstock that's what I'll make it out of and uh because I want some nice strong pockets here um this could almost be a pocket couldn't it wouldn't that look cute as a pocket let me see I don't think I have time to do it but I could put this as a pocket right here I wonder if that would be strong enough though let's see if I glued it down on two sides it might not be strong enough but I kind of I like that idea that could be an idea for a journal <laughs> so uh, I don't know. This could be strong enough for a pocket, though. Let me see. I mean, I wouldn't use all of this, but I guess a single layer would not be strong enough either. Anyway, I'll look around and let you, want to, let you know what I decide about to use for pockets, because I think I, now that I see what I had in those pockets, I see I actually need some pockets. So I'll be back with to show you another day um, in another video what I choose for pockets. But I hope you enjoyed a simple little redo of the spine there in case you need an idea for your binder so thank you for watching and i'll see you next time happy crafting and have a great day